Hospital welcomes the important OHHR report on Sri Lanka, which provides a stark assessment and makes clear recommendations for preventive action by this Council. We share deep concern over clear early warning signs of a deteriorating human rights situation and a significantly heightened risk of future violations. Last week, we released a report detailing the significant crackdown on civil society and freedom of expression and the resulting climate of fear and share concerns over increased repression and marginalisation of minorities. The report before us today, as well as a recent assessment by Special Procedures, reinforces our own assessment that domestic accountability measures cannot be considered credible, given the repeated past failure of such processes, recent backsliding on important emblematic cases, changes to the Constitution that seriously erode the independence of domestic justice processes and the National Human Rights Commission, and the real fear of reprisals against victims and witnesses. The Council must redouble its efforts to help un end the cycle of impunity which continues to fuel violations and to deny victims and their families rights to truth, justice and reparation. It is critical that the UN learn from past failures, including in Sri Lanka, and ensure the clear early warning signals highlighted by the High Commissioner are responded to with the concrete preventive actions recommended, specifically to mandate enhanced monitoring and reporting on the situation and the collection and preservation of evidence for future prosecutions. Madam High Commissioner, perhaps you could elaborate further on why that is so important, not only for the past, but also for the future of the country. Thank you.